Tamakia family will now make their way in, led by Kritisha's cousin, Yuvika. Please remain seated. Sarusha Pariachi and her family will now make their way in, led by Sarusha's cousin Nariksha. Please remain seated.
afternoon, one and all. It is my delight to welcome you on behalf of the Padiachi family to the wedding of Kritish and Sarusha. My name is Devaksha. I am Sarusha's youngest cousin, and I am your MC for this evening. Today is truly special because I get to see my beautiful cousin, who is affectionately known as Maya, get married to a wonderful man, Kritish. I know many people here tonight are very excited for this wedding because Maya is a woman with a heart of gold and to see her so radiant and happy as she is tonight brings joy to us all. Putting that smile on her face is Kritish, a gentleman who has warmly embraced all of Maya's friends and family. Kritish, we know you are right for Maya because you have one thing that she has always wanted in a man. Good teeth. <laughs> Jokes aside, it is your kind heart that matches hers. And all those near and dear to you both are elated to witness your union and the coming together of the Padiachi and Tamakia families. I now hand over to the Honorable Pandit Bob Maraj, who will conduct the wedding ceremony. Thank you. Jai Shri Krishna. Vanakam. It is customary that we begin a function of this nature by invoking the Lord. I would ask all of you to rise. Kadanta-cha-kapilo-kaja-karana-kaha-lambhodrasya-bhikato-bhikanasho-bhikanayak-dhumra-ketur-ganadayakshubhalachandru-kaja-jana-dvadishitinamani-pate-srinoyadvi
अमुक गोत्र से अमुक नाम से अश्विन नाम से भ्राता सरुषा नाम से कन्या निरक्षण कर्माणि के लिए हम श्री गणेश पूजा कलश प्रार्थना नवग्रह प्रार्थना गौरी प्रार्थना आ हम करिष्य ओम गणना त्वा गणपति गंगवाम हे प्रियना त्वा प्रियपति गंगवाम हे निधिना त्वा निधिपति गंगवाम हे वसो मम अमचान गर्वद ओम ऊर्भास्वा श्री गणापते नम आवहयामि पूजयामि स्थापयामि ओम पाद ओम आर्क ओम आचमी श्रीगणपते नमो नम ओ श्रीकंडम चंदनम दिव्यम गंधयम सोमनोहर विलेपनम सुरश्रेष्ठ चंदनम प्रतिगृहायता ओम श्रीगणपते नमो नम ओम अक्षता सुरश्रेष्ठ शोभ्र निर्मल मायनी वे भक्त गृहान परमेश्वर ओ मल्यादिनी सुगंधिनी मल्यादिनी वे प्रभो माया हर्ता पूजर्त पुष्पा प्रतिगृहायता ओम श्री गणपते नमो नम ओ शर्कंदता आहर भक्षभोज नैवेद्यम प्रतिगृहायता ओ सर्वे पापहर दिव्यम कांगय निर्मल आत्मनम प्रतिगृहायता ओम श्री गणपते नमो नम हरि ओम तत् ओम विघ्नेशराय वरदाय सुप्रियाय लंबोदराय सकलाय जगदीताय नागनाय श्रुतीय विभूषिताय गौरीसूताय गणनाथ नमो नमस्ते सर्वे मंगल मंगल्ये शिव सर्वर्थ साधि के शरण्येत्रिके गौरी नारायणी नमो वस्तुते ओम कलस्य मुखे विष्णुक रुद्र श्रीत मूल्ये तस्य स्मृत कुक्षतु सागर सप्तव सुंदर ऋग्वेदो था यजुर्वेद सामेद हतर्वन अंगीश सहित सर्वे कलशंत सीत ओं ब्रह्मा मुरारि स्त्रीपुरातकारी भानु शशि भूमि सुत बुध गुरुश्च शुक्र शनिराहु के तवक्रह शांति कर भवंतु ओम यन भद्रो बलिराज दानवेन्द्रो महाबल तेन बदना रक्ष माचल माचल ओ मंगल भगवान विष्णु मंगल गरुध्वज मंगल पुंडरी काक्ष मंगलाय तनो हरे सर्वे मंगल मंगल्ये शिव सर्वाथ साधि के शरण्ये त्रयंबिके गौरी नारायणी नमो वस्ते Dear families and friends, what you've just noticed is the welcoming of the bride ceremoniously by who the elder brother of the groom, which in Hindu terminology we call him Jet, the elder brother. Elder brother in the family always like a fatherly figure. So what he has come here to welcome you, and has to come here. He's come here to give you assurance that his brother, the groom, will take the same love and care. That your parents took of you from day one to now, right, Ashwin? Bye. He got pressure on his shoulders. This guy. Your happiness in the new family is his concern. That's basically what, and the Lord has stood as witness in what he said to you. Right, Ashwin? Thank you very much. I have a message here from two minutes, Sarusha. Uh, that I will read on her behalf. Is it right, dear? 
It says here, with a tear of joy in my heart, God has placed love and happiness along the road we all travel, and I am thankful that I found it. To my creator, and to almighty God, thank you for enabling me to share in the wonders of your grace. I know that on this day, you have given me my bridegroom, who is worthy of my deepest love and trust. To my parents, I will always be grateful for the good upbringing which you've given me. I will not be able to pay back for what you have done for me. It has enabled me to recognize love and happiness when it comes my way. To my parents-in-law, thank you for raising the groom with love and respect. It has enabled him to accept the responsibility which awaits him from this day forward. I know that on our life's journey together, he will always be there to love, respect, guide, and protect me. To all my guests, thank you for the sharing, the joy of our wedding, and it is signed here, Sarusha Padiyachi. Thank you. Hariyom Tatsat, Hariyom Tatsat. Om Vishtaraha Pratigriha Yatam, Om Vishtaraha Pratigriha Nami. Om, Om Padhyam Pratigriha Nam, Om Padhyam Pratigriha Nami. Om Virajo Dohasi, Virajo Maya Padhi Virajo Dohasi. Om Apavitra Hapavitru Sarvava Stangatopiva, Yahasmarit Pundari Kaksham Sabahabhyantar Hasuchi Hari Om Tatsat. Om Vishraha Pratigriha Yatam, Om Vishraha Pratigriha Nami. Left hand, left hand, just put some water there. Om Argaham Pratigriha Yatam, Om Argaham Pratigriha Nami. Hari Om Tat Sat Om Apavitra Hapavitru Sarvava Sangatopiva Yahasmarit Pundari Kaksham Sabah Bintar Suchi Hari Om Tat Sat Om Achmanyam Om Atmanyam Atmanyam Pratikriha Yatam Om Apavitra Hapavitru Sarvavastankatupiva Yahasmarit Pundari Kaksham Sabahabhyantar Suchi Hari Om Tatsat Om Madhuparke Pratikriha Yatam Om Madhuparke Pratikriha Nami Om Namaha Shambhavasya Tate Nishkrintami Om Madhunam Param Rupanam Tena Asani Hari Om Tat Sat Hari Om Tat Sat Left hand, hold it there, left hand, left 
ओम गौर गौर प्रतिगृहायता ओम गौर गौर प्रतिगृहना शतम जीवे मा शारद पुरोचेराय स Dear families and friends, we have on stage the groom and the bride's father. What we've just done is welcoming of the groom now. We welcome the bride. Now we will welcome the groom ceremoniously, even though we welcomed you outside with some pomp and glory. Here, status is given to the groom, whereby we've given you status that of Lord Vishnu. And how did we do that? We've given you a piece of kusha grass that put under your feet that raises you above the level of all of us that have arrived here today. And the bride's father washed your feet. And that, that is what we would do for God. And we're going to now put a dot. So if I'm doing, praying to God, I wash God's feet, and I put a dot for him. And that is the respect that he's given you, of that of Lord Vishnu. And he says to you, dear son, I give you that status of Lord Vishnu on one condition. You will look upon my daughter as Mother Lakshmi. There we are. Thank you very much. That's good. Om Chandanasya Mahatpunyam Pavetram Papanashanam Apada Harate Lakshmi Tishtati Saravadam All right. We're now going to be ready to do the Kanya dance. So we're going to call the bride, the bride's mom and the bride's brother. Om Swastina Indra Bhrida Shavaha Swastina Hapukha Vishwavedaha Swastina Sarakshora Rishtane Mihi Swastina Vrihaspatir Dadatu What a nice welcome that was. Good. Om Virajo Doha Si Virajo Doha Virajo Doha Si Om Apavitra Pavitru Sarva Vastanga Topiva Yahasmari Pundari Kapsham Saba Hadjantra Suchi Om Chandanasya Mahatpunyam Pavitram Papanashanam Apada Harate Lakshmi Tishtati Saravada Hari Om Tatsat Om Om Kandat Kandat Prarohanti Purusha Yevano Durva Sahastri Shadhanicha Hari Om Tatsat Hari Om Tatsat Om Vishnu Ra Vishnu Ra Vishnu Shrimad Bhagato Mahapurusha Sya Vishnu Ragya Pravatamana Sya Dhyaya Shri Brahmano Shri Sveta Vara Kalpe Vaivas Ashtavim Shatitame Kali Yuge Kali Pratham Channe Dakshin Africa Kandinathal Prante Darvan Nagre Jewish Hall Stane Vadra Padmase Shukla Paksha Sashtami Titi Shani Vatre Om Amasamad Pitinam Brahmalok Vapte Yeltem Anina Varina Asyam Kanyanam Vadashvaran Vadashvaran Purushanatanam Lakshmi Narayani Amuk Gautrasya Amuk Namasya Kritish Namasya Varaya Sarusha Namasya Kanya Saham Sampradade Om Swastina Indra Vidashtavaha Swastina Hapukha Vishwavedaha Swastina Shtarikshora Rishtanemihi 
स्वस्तिनो बृहस्पतिर्दू Dear families and friends, what we've just done now is called Kanyadan. Hindu marriage is divided into four parts. They call it Vagdan, Tilakdan, Kanyadan, and Sendudan. Vagdan, giving of the word between the bride and the groom, first when you marry. Tilakdan is what we did outside before we came into the hall. You remember we said we're doing the Tilak? What we did now is called Kanyadan. The last part of the Hindu wedding is called Sendur Dan. So the, it says here, the parents of the bride is saying to the groom, dear bridegroom, adorn with traditional dress and jewel. We give to you our daughter for fulfilling the dharma and for griha astrama and for praja, that is procreation. Hitherto her welfare was our responsibility. From now onwards, she's been entrusted into your care. It is our prayer that you will accord her the same care and happiness. That's what we're addressing you, and you're saying yes. Good. What we've used, a symbol of the conch, has the transfer of the daughter from one family into the next family. So we've called your parents here to accept Sarusha as a daughter in your home, no daughter-in-law. So that puts a little bit of pressure. On this. But that's what that understanding that we've just done. So that's why we've called both of you here. So that will stay in your prayer room, and you will always remember Sarusha has a daughter in our home. And that is the understanding. Thank you very much. Hold it, both of you. Hari Om Tatsat, Om Adhyakriti Kanadam Karmanam Suvaranam Agni Agni Devatam Amogotrasya Muknamasya Kritish Namasya Varaya Sarusha Namasya Kanya Tubyam Ham Sam Pradade. Both of you accept that? So the, the continuation of what the Kanyadan it says here, and it's addressed to the groom, to the groom, Kritesh, do you accept Sarusha as your wife and promise in the presence of God, the guest, and myself, who is representing Brahma, to protect her in material and spiritual life and remain faithful to her? Okay, stand up and give your blessing. Oh, Mangalam Bhagavan Vishnu, Mangalam Garudvaja, Mangalam Pundari Kaksha Mangalaye Tano Hari Sarve Mangala Mangalye Shive Sarvarta Sadike Sharanye Trayambike Gauri Narayani Namo Vastute Good. Om Mangalam Bhagavan Vishnu Mangalam Garudvaja Mangalam Pundari Kaksha Mangalaye Tano Hari Sarve Mangala Mangalye Shive Sarvartha Sadike Sharanye Trayambike Kauri Narayani Namo Vastute Om Swastina Indra Vrida Shavaha Swastina Puka Vishwa Vedaha Swastina Starik Shora Rishtanemihi Swastina Obrihas Patir Dadatu Aganimilo prohitam yagyajam rijam hotaram ratana datamam swaha. Got the three sticks. Om, om namo bhag. 
भगवदेवासुदेवाय स्वाह ओम नमो भगवदेवासुदेवाय स्वाह ओम नमो भगवदेवासुदेवाय स्वाह ओम प्रजापते नम स्वाह इदम प्रजापते नाम मम ओमेन्द्राय स्वाह इदमेन्द्राय नम ओम अगनाय स्वाह इदम अगनाय नम ओम सोमाय स्वाह इदम सोमाय नम ओम भू स्वाह इदम अग्नाय नम ओम भु स्वाह इदम वायावे नाम मम ओम स्वाह स्वाह इदम सूर्याय नाम मम ओम गंगा जलम सनित यशोदृत आत्मय छेवा देवी श्री प्रीतर्थम प्रति गृह ओनो अग्ने वरुण से विद्वानो अवयाशिष्ट यजिषो वहीनाशो शिव सुखम सा प्रस्म स्वाह इदमग्निवरुणभ्यम न मम ओम ये ते शात वरुण सहस्रपाशवीत मंत तिभिनो विष्णु विश्वमुंजा तो मरुत स्वर्क स्वाह इदम वरुणा सवित्र विश्वभ्यो देंभ्यो मरुद्य स्वर्काश नम ओम ओत उतम वरुण पाशवी मदायक श्रात ये व्रात दान वागो आदित स्वायं स्वाह इदम वरुणा दीताय दीचाय नम ओम सागमीत विश्व साम सूर्य गंधर्व मरीचना तो व्यम स्वाह इदमग्ने नम ओम सागमीत विश्व साम सूर्य गंधर्व इदम ब्रह्म क्षत पात तस्म स्वाह इदमग्ने नम ओम सोवर्ण सूर्य चंद्रम गंधर्व ब्रह्म पात तस्म स्वाह इदमग्ने नम ओम सोवर्ण सूर्य चंद्रम गंधर्व नक्षत्रा भेकूरायुना तो व्यम स्वाह इदमग्ने नम इन द फेस्ट लॉट ऑफ ऑफरिंग दट यू डन दिस इज वॉट वी सेट टू द लॉर्ड दीज ऑफरिंग्स आर मेड बाई दोज हुआ एंट्रिंग टू द लाइफ ऑफ अ हाउस होल्डर द एज फॉर द कपल टू डू द ड्यूटीज सो टू फेस्ट ऑफ ऑल टू बेनिफिट योर सेल्फ योर फैमिलीज योर कम्युनिटी एंड द नेशन दैट्स वॉट वी सेट टू द लॉर्ड लेट्स गॉन टू द नेक्स्ट वन ओम चीत स्वाह इदम चीताय नाम मम ओम चीती से स्वाह इदम चीत्याय नाम मम ओम आकुक्त से स्वाह इदम आकुक्ताय नाम मम ओम आकुक्ति से स्वाह इदम आकुक्ताय नाम मम ओम वेग्यत से स्वाह इदम वेग्ताय नाम मम ओम वेग्यति से स्वाह इदम विज्ञाय नाम मम ओम से स्वाह इदम मन से नाम मम ओम शक्वरी स्वाह इदम शक्वरीभ्यो नाम मम ओम बृहस्ते स्वाह इदम बृहस्ते नाम मम एंड इन दीज ऑफरिंग्स सेट ऑफ ऑफरिंग्स सेज दीज ऑफरिंग्स आर मेड टू ऑब्टेन विक्ट्री एंड सक्सेस इन ऑल योर अंडरटेकिंग्स दैट्स द रिक्वेस्ट वी मेड फ्रॉम गॉड लेट्स गो ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन अग्निर्भूतनाधिपति नम स्वाह इदमग्निभूतनाधिपति नाम मम ओमींद्रो ज्येष्ठ नाधिपति नम स्वाह इदमींद्राय ज्येष्ठ नाधिपति नाम मम ओम याम पृथ्वीयाधिपति नम स्वाह इदम याम पृथ्वीयाधिपति नाम मम ओम वायुरांतरीक्ष आधिपति नम स्वाह इदम वायवे अंतरीक्ष आधिपति नाम मम ओम सूर्यो दीवो आधिपति नम स्वाह इदम सूर्याय नाम मम ओम चंद्रमा नक्षत्रा आधिपति नम स्वाह इदम चंद्रमा से नक्षत्रा आधिपति नाम मम ओम बृहस्पते ब्रह्मणे आधिपति नम स्वाह इदम बृहस्पते ब्रह्मणे आधिपति नाम मम ओम मित्र सत्य नाम आधिपति नम स्वाह इदम मित्राए न सत्यनाधिपति नाम मम ओं पीतर पिताम स्वाह इदम पितृदेवताय नाम मम इन दिस सेट ऑफ ऑफरिंग इट सेज दीज आर कैलकुलेटेड टू ब्रिंग प्रोग्रेस एंड द विश टू प्रोड्यूस ऑफस्प्रिंग इज फुलफिल्ड दैट्स व्हाट वी सेड टू द लॉर्ड नेक्स्ट वन 
ಅಗ್ನಿರ್ತು ಪ್ರಥಮೋ ದೇವನಾತ್ವಂಸ ಮುಂಜಂತು ಪ್ರತಿಗ್ವಂ ರಾಜ ತಾಯಗ್ವಂ ಶ್ರೀನೌ ಪತ್ರ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಇದಮಗ್ನಿ ಸಾಯ ನಮ ಓಂ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನೋ ದೀವ ಪೃಥಿವ್ಯ ವಿಶ್ವ ಯಥ ಯಾಚತ್ರ ಅಸ್ಯಾಂ ಮಾಹಿ ದೇವಿ ಜಾತ ಪ್ರಶಂ ತದಂ ಓತ್ರ ವಿನಂ ದೇಹಿ ಚಿತ್ರಗ್ವಂ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಇದಮಗ್ನಿ ಸಾಯ ನಮ ಓಂ ಪರಂ ಋತ್ಯುನೋ ಆನು ಪರಿ ಪಂತ ಯಸ್ತೆ ಅನ್ಯ ಇತರೋ ದೇವನಾಶು ಶ್ರೀನ್ವಂತೆ ಪ್ರಚಗ್ವಂ ರೀರಿಷೋ ಮೋತ ವೀರಜಂ ಸ್ವಾಹ ಇದಮಗ್ನಿ ಅಸ್ಯಾಯ ನಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೈಟಿ ಗಾಡ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಅಸ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಟಿಲ್ ಡೆತ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸ್ಪಾರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಮೋಟರ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಫೈರ್ ಓಂ ಗಂಗಾಚಲಂ ಸಮಾನಿತ ಯತ ಕಲುಷೋತ್ಕೃತ ಆಚ್ಮಯಂ ಚೇವಾ ದೇವಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಪ್ರೀತ್ಯರ್ಥಂ ಪ್ರತಿ ಗೃಹಾಯತ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಅಗ್ನಿದೇವತಾಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಟಿವ್ಸ್ ದೇವ್ ಕಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಡ್ಯೂ ಎ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಪ್ಕಾರ್ನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಸೀಟೆಡ್ ಎನ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಡೂ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಡ್ಯೂ ಫೆಸ್ಟ್ handfuls into the common container let's go om swastina indra pradeshavah swastina pukta vishvamedah swastina sarakshura rishan swastina hoti haspati dadatu my word the guy for the whole thing i thought he was going to put it in his hand my word hey, this is cute so the whole object of the exercise of mixing the popcorn symbolizes the mixing of the two families that's what that is all about om armanam devam kanya sakshano armam deva preetu munjantu pate swaha idamagne aryaya namam in the first offering this is what was said the bride says to the bridegroom i am now ready to leave my parents home physically and mentally okay this is just hold on you guys are going a bit fast forward for me om iman aryo brute la janavam pantika ayushmanas tumi patir gantam jyatano mama swaha idamagne aryaye namam in the second offering the bride prays for the groom to be blessed with material prosperity so we both can have a comfortable life the third one om imanalu je samridhi karam ta mama tu byam dag nirman yogam swaha idamagne aryaye namam and in the third one the bride invokes the deities to ensure the bonds of affection between herself and the groom grows in depth okay you guys will hold each other's hand like you shake it remember okay shake okay. it yes and we have the bride and the groom holding each other's hand and this is what is being said om pashyama sharada shatam jeeve ma sharada shri nu nama sharada bhu yasya sharada shatat and if i have to translate that it says and i'm reading it on your behalf i take your hand for prosperity good children and happiness god and the people are our witnesses i hold your hand and we now become husband and wife god united you and me for the life of a householder so may we enjoy a 100 years of life and more may the creator bless us with good children and with a prosperous and a successful marriage life and we say to each other we accept each other as husband and wife and will always be faithful to each other om arohe mamasta gwam stire bhava abhishta pritanaye pritanaye tah and in this one here the groom is saying to the bride dear bride as the stone is solid and firm so do thou remain steadfast 
in the duties and obligations of a householder, treating alike happiness and sorrow, and overcoming all obstacles and suffering, has the stone under your foot. I too elect, accept the same principle. The stone doesn't change with the rain and the wind and the sun. Dharma must not change. So the bridegroom is called Dharampati, the bride is called Dharampatini. The common word between you two guys is called Dharma, upholders of Dharma. The second reason for the stone is that Lord Shiva and Parvati sat on the stone. That stone is now representing that stone that Shiva and Parvati sat on. And Shiva and Parvati represents a perfect couple. And that is what we wanted to achieve from what you've just done. So when you were seated here, we had given you the status of Vishnu and Lakshmi. Then we moved you on to Shiva and Parvati. We're now moving on to the next level, that of Brahma and Saraswati. So you're going to put your hands together for it. Om Saraswati Preda Subhagyam Swam Vishwaya Bhutasya Praja Yasyam Tamagat Vishwatam Jagat Tamagatam Gayami Shrinam Yashaha And in here it says, Mother Saraswati, as you with your kind words turn poison into nectar, so do bestow upon my bride the sweetness of speech. And the groom says, I too will cherish and practice this idea. So, for the first three times round, we are going to get the bride to lead the groom. So, Sarusha, stand up in front. Just like that, yes. You're going to be standing behind, walk behind. Okay? And we are going to seek the blessings. We've given you status that of Mother Lakshmi, am I right? So we're going to seek the blessings of Mother Lakshmi while you walk around, okay? Namaste Swaha <laughs> Good. Om Pashima Sharade Shatam Jivima Sharade Shri Nunama Sharad Buyasya Sharada Shatat Om Harohi Mamastagam Stira Bhava Abhistishta Pritanaya Pritanaya Taha Om Saraswati Preda Subhagdim Vishwaya Praja Yasyam Vishwadim Jagat Tamagatam Gayami Shrinam Yashaha Sarusha, up in front again. Up, up in, stand in front of him again and we're going to go around. Hold his hand. Kanya Sakshano Armam Devo Pretumunjantupate Swaha 
ಶಾರದ ಶ್ರೀನು ನಾಮ ಶಾರದ ಭೂಯ ಶಾರದ ಶೋಹಿ ಮಮಸ್ತಗ್ವಂಸ್ಥಿರಭವ ಅಭೀಸ್ತಿಷ್ಟ ಪ್ರೀತನಾಯೋ ಪ್ರೀತನಾಯ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಪ್ರೀತ ಸೌಭಾಗ್ಯ ಜಿಂ ತ್ವಂ ವಿಶ್ವಭೂತ ಪ್ರಾಜಾಂ ಜಗತ್ ಸಾಮಗಾತಂ ಕಾಯಿ ಶ್ರೀಣ ಯಶ Namaste and you can go back. For the next three time round we want to be fair to the groom and we're going to give him the opportunity to lead the bride. So to this you're going to walk up in front, you behind. Since we've given you the position that of Brahma, of Shiva and of Vishnu and we combine all that in in today's time we'll, we're going to call you Krishna. So we're going to seek the blessings of Lord Krishna while you take your bride along. with you okay <clears throat> hari om tat sat hari om shri krishna gobind hare murari he nath narayan vasudeva ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರೆ ಮುರಾರಿ ಹೇ ನಾಥ ನಾರಾಯಣ ವಾಸುದೇ ರಾಧೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ರಾಧೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ So we've had the bride to lead the groom three times round then the groom will lead the bride three times the seventh time round we're going to walk side by side so we're leveling the playing field we are equal partners in this marriage but before we do that on the seventh time round we are going to do the the seventh step and we are now ready and this is what is being said in the seventh step the first one om ekame vishnu tvanayatu and this one says i pritish the groom has vishnu lead you sarusha into the first zone for the sake of obtaining food to which sarusha has a pleasure to reply and she says oh dear pritish place all food and money in my care so that with these i may provide for and save the entire household so you know where to put the money now that's good let's go to the next one om dwe urje vishnu tvanaya tu and this says i pritish the groom has vishnu lead you sarusha into the second zone for the sake of obtaining physical strength 
to which Sarusha has the pleasure to reply and to say, Dear Kritish, I will then serve the household and will always be sweet in speech and bear adversity with courage and patience and keep all pleasure together with you, Kritish Andi. Good? Third one. Om Trini Rayas Poshaya Vishnu Tuanaya Tu. And this one says, I, Kritish, the groom, as Vishnu lead you, Sarusha, into the third zone, praying for an increase in material wealth. To which Sarusha has the pleasure to reply, and she says, Dear Kritish, I shall regard only you as my husband and shall enjoy merry life together. Why not? Good. Next one. Om Chadwari Mayubhava Vishnu Tuanaya Tu. And this one says, I, Kritish, the groom, as Vishnu lead you, Sarusha, into the fourth zone, praying for peace and happiness. To which Sarusha has the pleasure to reply, and she says, Dear Kritish, I shall adorn myself with all makeup and jewelry available to be pleasing to your eyes only. My way. Well, they say all brides are beautiful, am I right? Just keep it like that here. Next one. Om Pashubhyo Vishnu Tuanayatu. And this one says, I, Kritish, groom as Vishnu lead you, Sarusha, into the fifth zone, praying for welfare of animals, should we both agree to have them as pets and agree to love and care for them. Next one. Om Shad Rishabhyo Vishnu Tuanayatu. And this one says, I, Kritish, the groom as Vishnu lead you, Sarusha, into the sixth zone. For the sake of obtaining pleasure, whatever Paramatma has provided in each of the four seasons, to which Sarusha has the pleasure to reply and she says, Dear Kritish, I shall always accompany you to all religious undertakings, havans and charitable acts, and save you with utmost devotion. My oh, well, that's nice. Next one. Om Sake Sapte Bhavasa Mama Nuvrat Bhava Vishnu Tvanayatu. And this one says, I, Kritish, the groom, as Vishnu lead you, Sarusha, into the seventh zone, requesting that in the seven lokas you will carry out my wishes, be a devoted wife, and I will be a devoted husband. So, Sarusha says in reply, in the presence of this respected assembly, as witnesses, I accept you, Kritish, to be your wife according to the rites prescribed in the Vedas given by Brahma. Therefore, Kritish, my happiness knows no limit. I accept you as my lawful husband, from this moment onwards. Okay, you're gonna stand side by side. And this way facing you now. Please. And we're gonna now seek the blessing of Vishnu. Mangalam Garuda. In the next vow that is going to be taken, the groom is going to sprinkle some holy waters of the kalash onto the bride's head. And by sprinkling this water, I will have to use an English word that is closest to what it actually means, that the bride will get baptized into the groom's family. You become part of the groom's family. That's what it at this moment. Om Apahishtamayubhuva Om Tana Urjetanaha Om Maheranya Chakshase Om Yova Shivato Rasaha Om Tasya Bajaye Naham Om Ushati Riva Mataraha Om Tasma Manga Awanaham One time on the ground now. Om Yasakshaya Jitvata One on your Om Apo Janayata Janaha Good. There you are. You're part of the groom family by sprinkling of the holy waters of the Kalash. The next vow, the bride and the groom are going to put their hands together and pray to Surya, the sun god. And it says here, O sun, the eyes of the devas, may we by your grace live for a hundred years, hear for a hundred years, talk for a hundred years, 
and may we remain free from poverty and sickness for a hundred years. And the chant says, Om Pashyama Sharada Shatam Jivima Sharada Shrinu Nama Sharada Shatam Pravama Shadam Madina Sye Shadaha Pura Sye Sharada Shatat The next vow. In the next vow, it is a unification of the two souls, whereby from here onwards, it says, your happiness is his happiness, your sorrow is his sorrow, and vice versa, and it's easier till death do us part. Might be different to other marriages, where you sign a piece of paper, and if you don't like it, you put a line across it, and it's done. Here, once I've said it, and it says, till death do us part. So nobody can go to the priest and said after five years, ten years, or hundred years later, and said, Pandit, can you unchant what you chanted that day? Can you? Can you? So, sit in, put your right hand on your left shoulder. I'm now joining you by soul. Oh, mama vrate hirdayam dadami mama chitam uti chamte astu mama vache meka na juswa Raja Patish Niyuktam Mayiyam Till death do us part. Good? Yes. We're now going to get the bride and the groom to sit and face each other, almost. And you can hold his hands here. And we are now going to go to the almost the final rounds of the vows. And again, I'm going to read it on your behalf, so right here. Because you're a nice guy. Oh... <coughs> Om Swastina Indra Bridhastavaha Swastina Hapuka Viswaveda Swastina Starik Shoda Rishanemihi Swastina Brihaspatir Dadatu And it says, Our relationship as husband and wife will be a cherished friendship without any mistrust or suspicion on one another. Our pure, unconditional love, loyalty, and friendship for one another will be a very strong and closely bonded one. Our thoughts and opinion will be very strong and mutually respected ones. Like the necessary seasonal changes in nature that help mankind to survive, so will our relationship be similarly based on helping each other. Whatever the life's heartaches, sorrows, difficulties, and challenges they are, we will steadfastly and strongly live, support, and survive through as a family. Even when burned by raging fires, even if there are cyclones storming, even if it gets freezingly cold, we will console and strengthen our hearts and ensure that we survive as a family. We as husband and wife, by the witness of Agni Devta, the god of fire, seek the blessings of Lord Vishnu as a preserver to live a life filled with happiness for a hundred years and more. And we're now going to go individually to you. And to you, uh, we we'll start with you, Duya. Do you, uh, Sarusha? Promise to be a loving and faithful partner to Kiki. Will you always encourage him to follow the path of righteousness? And will you always respect and honor the tradition and culture of his family? You will look upon all mankind. If he's elder than you, he must be your father. If he's your age, he must be your brother. Anybody younger than you must be your son. You can only look at Kritesh as a husband. To you, Kritesh. Do you promise to be a caring and loving husband to Sarusha? Will you always show tolerance and understanding towards your bride? And do you always promise to make an equal partner in all aspects of your life? You will look upon all females, either as your mother, sister, or daughter. One wife, and that is Sarusha. Well done. Good. Both of you stand up. And come, come across here. So you have to do this anti clockwise. Next vow, that is now the final one, and we call it, remember, Sendurdan, from Vakdan, Tilakdan, Kanyadan, Sendurdan. Om Sumangalariyam Baduri Magwam Pashya Saubhagya Dhatye Yathatam Viparetanaha And we will seek the blessings of Mother while that is being done. Give it to her. Just tell it 
to what to do. You, you hold that sign. Raja, Dana Vindro Mahabalaha, Tini Twamba, the Nami Raksha, Machala, Machala. Just help it here, help it with not putting behind the clothing, just on the neck. Mangalam Pagavan, Vishnu, Mangalam Karudvaja, Mangalam Pundari, Kaksha Mangalayeta, no hurry. Om Mangalam Bhagavan Vishnu Mangalam Garudvaja Mangalam Pundari Kaksh Mangalayetano Hari Om Sarve Mangala Mangalye Shive Sarvartha Sadike Sharanye Trayambike Gauri Narayani Namo Vastute Om Swastina Indro Bridashavaha Swastina Puka Visva Veda, Swastina Sarik Shura Rishanemi, Swastina Brihas Patir Dadatu. There we are. That brings us to the end of the traditional wedding. We are fortunate today that we can also solemnize this marriage in terms of the Western world because we live in a Western world. So we will call upon the witnesses that will join us so that you will be married in the eyes of the law health world. Here I go. Do you, Pritish, take Sarusha to be your lawful wedded wife, companion, and soulmate to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer and poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish her, for as long as both of you shall live. Do you, Sarisha, take Pritish to be your lawful wedded husband, companion, and soulmate, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer and poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish him, as, as, for as long as both of you shall live? And here, the final one, with the powers vested in me as a marriage officer, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hari Om Tat Sat, Hari Om Tat Sat, Hari Om Tat Sat. Om He Rama Purushottama Narhari Narayan Keshava Govinda Garudvaja Gunani De Damodara Madhava He Krishna Kamlapate Yodpate Sitapate Shripate Vekunta Deepate, Charal Charpate, Lakshmi Pate, Pahimam, 
Adoramit upon a day governum, Atwam regum cajanum, Vedi haranum, Jatayu maranum, so grieva some bashanum, Bali near the lam samodre taranum, Lanka puri banum, Pascha driven a cumbeca haranum, Yatadi ramayanum, Mangalam Bhagavan Vishnu, Mangalam Garudvaja, Mangalam Pundari Kapshe, Mangalayetano Hari. Let's put our hands together. Om Sarve Sham Swasti Rabavitu, Sarve Sham Shanti Rabavitu, Sarve Sham Purnam Bavitu, Sarve Sham Mangalam Bavitu, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Shantu Niramaya, Sarve Badrani Pashantu, Makas Chetuk Bhag Vivit, Om Aparadha Sastrani Kriyante Harani Shammaya, Daso Ham Sham Yatamateva, Shamas Parameshwara, Avahanam Najanami, Najanami Bisarjanam, Pujam Chewa Najanami, Sham Yatam Parameshwara, Anyate Sharanam Nasti Tomeva Sharanam Mama, that's me Karin Bhavena, Rakshatwam Parameshwara, Parameshwari, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti Om. Applause for Dr. and Dr. Tamakia. It's not a celebration if you don't have cake, which the newlyweds will now cut. There goes my heart beating, cause you are the reason I'm losing my sleep. Please come back now. There goes my mind racing And you are the reason That I'm still breathing I'm hopeless now I'd climb every mountain And swim every... It's time to hear from Maya and Kritish's nearest and dearest. Our first speaker has known Kritish all his life and has seen him grow into the dashing groom you see today. I now call Kritisha's uncle, Mr. Harry Ramasa, to talk about his beloved nephew. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, I stand before you not only as the uncle of Kritish, but as the oldest member of the Timakia side of the family you see today. And this is really a rare privilege because as the oldest, I also have the time 
that has extended before me as I've seen Kritish grow from a child newly born out of the hospital to the man that you see before you now. So as I look back over the years that I've known him, running around, playing at one stage, I remember his aunt telling me that while he was still a little fellow, he was chasing after a truck that was going down, running along the pavement after the truck. And his aunt got pretty worried. What is this youngster doing running after this truck? And she stopped him asked, what are you doing? He said, no, 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 I want to be a truck driver and I want to see what the truck driver looks like. <laughs> so, of course, from that early dream of being a truck driver, you see before you now the mature young man, a devoted family member, a devoted son, a devoted brother, and a very, very committed member of society. And at this point, I want to say that it takes me to the time he was an early lad just about to leave primary school, heading for the high school. And as an educationist, I was quite interested in knowing now what is it that you want to do when you get out of primary school, heading for high school, because you need to start tailoring your courses, deciding what you want to be. So he said, yes, I want to be a doctor, big dad. I want to be a doctor. So I said, hey, man, this lad knows what he wants to do. So I asked him, why? What, what's so special? Your father is a very prominent civil engineer. Why can't you also be like him? He said, no, 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 big dad. You don't know. I've been talking to friends and people, and they say that RK Khan, people queue up the early morning, and by the time they see a doctor, it's late in the evening. So they need more doctors, and I'm, I'm sure I can be one as good as anybody else. So that dream of being a doctor, I think, and also that heart of love and service that he was filled with is, to a large extent, the influence of his grandfather, his maternal grandfather, the late Pandit Bhawani Prasad Maharaj, who was a very well-known pundit and priest in the Mia Bank area, who never turned any way, anyone away when they approached his door asking for his spiritual assistance. I think that feeling of wanting to be of service, wanting to be a part of the larger community, was slowly nurturing as he grew older. In high school, that dream of being a doctor strongly carved every step that he took in life, devoted himself to his studies. But as he was also aware that he didn't want to just be a bookworm. He also wanted to be a strong man capable of defending himself. So he took to bodybuilding, he took to karate, and what you see here is a classic case of the Latin saying, men sana in corpore sano, which literally means a healthy mind in a healthy body. So what you see before you now is not only a person who saw his life as one of the mind, but also he saw that he needed to be strong enough to perform all the duties that he saw necessary. So when he completed his high school year, he did outstandingly well. And within a short space of time, a couple of days, he got notification from the University of Cape Town that he was admitted in med into medical school. Of course, the family was quite tax happy, but also very worried that this young man was going to go far away from the rest of the family. Would he be able to comp cope with the isolation from the family support system? So the family got even more happy when a couple of days later, we got a notice from the University of Natal that he was also admitted at the University of Natal. So now he thought, we are happy now, he's got his dream but we also got our boy in the family around us to support him. But he said, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's not rush with this decision. So he had said, called the family and said, listen, the University of Cape Town is one of the leading medical schools in the whole of Africa. It's known throughout the world as a distinguished medical institution. 
And not that there's anything wrong with the University of Natal, but I think I'd like to go to the University of Cape Town. So reluctantly, the family said, well, if that's what you want, they let him go. And he has proved himself not only as a dedicated family member, because in every break, if he, if he couldn't make it to Durban, he insisted that the family join him in Cape Town to support him and he to show the family that he was on the steady part of his studies. And so he completed his studies. For a while, my wife and I lost touch because both of us traveled overseas for many years, fulfilling our professional dream of working abroad. But after a number of years, we returned. And when I returned, the first thing I asked, Kritish, you finish your studies, you are now a doctor, is that where you're gonna stop? What is the further field? He said, no, Dad, I want to do something more. I'm gonna... So I said, what? He said, no, I want to be much, much more than just a doctor. He said, first I thought I'd be an orthopedic surgeon. That didn't work out for some reason. Then he said, I wanted to be a heart surgeon. That didn't work out for some reason. And finally, he landed up being a neurosurgeon. So if you ask him all the drama of what went on in his choice of becoming a neurosurgeon, he'll tell you the drama that went into that. But I think it was a very, very excellent choice that he landed up with, because he's now an extremely distinguished neurosurgeon, so much so that he is part of a team which also attends to the postgraduate training of foreign doctors who come into the country to expand their knowledge. So he's not only attending to the little thing that, the routine, thing, routine things that go with that type of work, he's also attending to spreading his knowledge with a team of colleagues far beyond the borders of this country. So I asked him again, but uh, that's all good and well. Are you studying? But well, that's my philosophy. You can't stand on the same spot. You have to move ahead, drive your mind, drive your body to achieve new excellence. He said, Big Dad, I'm going to send you an article. You read it, and you see whose name is carved on it. So he sent me an, a research article, and lo and behold, I see below it, Dr. Kritish Timankia. The article was a well-researched, detailed study of head injuries, and he identified all the problems associated with this, the medical treatment required, and he de made detailed recommendations about what should be the desired treatment of such patients so that they lead and have a better chance of successful outcome. So what you see before you is a young man who is a devoted son, a devoted member of society, and now I'm certain he'll be a devoted husband and a husband and also a caring member of his larger family. Often you'll meet him and you'll find him a little bit shy and silent, but his words are words of pearly wisdom when he utters them, and his actions speak much, much louder than his words. So all I want to say on behalf of the Timaka family, to thank all of you to be being here. Also on behalf of the Timaka family, I want to thank the Padiachi family for the warm welcome they've extended to us. And we want to say to everybody, please share with us every moment of the joy that follows now and the years that follow. May you all pray with us as well that his joys are joys that litter every step of his way as he goes into the future. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for those lovely words. Our second speaker, Lucelle Padiachi, is Kritish's former colleague from Albert Lutuli Hospital. Kritish is a polite, reserved guy, but having worked in such a high-pressured environment, I am sure Lucelle can give us some real insight into the man. I now call Lucelle to talk about her dear friend. Good evening to the bridal couple, the parents and grandparents of the bride and groom, and honored guests. It is my pleasure, and indeed a privilege, to provide a tribute to Dr. Kritish Timakia, or Dr. T, or Dr. Timakia, 
as he is known at the hospital. To speak on Krithish immediately brings to mind the poem by John Donne. No man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. To know and appreciate Krithish is to know and value his continent, his grandma and his late grandpa, his mummy and daddy, Krithika, and the boys, Prince, Duke, Mardi, and Marlin. Krithish and I go back to registrar days at Albert Hospital. Late nights, long days, stress, stress and pressure can show you the measure of a man. Kritish was then and is now an honorable, dedicated, diligent doctor who works tirelessly and selflessly for his patients. He is always endeavoring to do his very best at every turn. To his colleagues and staff, he conducts himself honorably and with decorum. What always comes to mind is late one night, whilst having to drill a hole in someone's head, as he does, the drill didn't work. The theater was tense. The scrub nurse and the company rep were arguing, and Kritish calmly resorted to an alternate plan and proceeded with the procedure, setting aside all ego and tantrums to get the job done. So that's the serious work, Kritish. Five fun facts about Kritish. He is an avid listener to Radio Lotus. So, Sarusha, please ensure the signal reception is good. He is always hungry. Even when you think he isn't, it's always best to err on the side of caution and feed him. Fortunately, he works such long hours and skips so many meals, he avoids obesity. He has an extensive general knowledge. And in the midst of the most hair-raising situation, will suddenly educate you on some trivia whilst the suction bottle fills with blood. He often locates mysterious hippos throughout the Gulf Estate, and thus far has eluded several near-miss attacks. And he enjoys his weekly ice cream and bunny chows at the small craft harbor. We like to call Krithish the last of the Mohicans. In other words, the last available good guy, tell you, Sarusha. A gentleman always, a man who works from sun up till the job is done, a noble friend who conducts himself admirably at all times, a good grandson, son, colleague, and friend, and I'm certain a good husband and a father to be. May God bless the two of you abundantly with love and joy and happiness, and we wish you all the best. I think. Thank you, Lucelle. Our third speaker is one of Maya's oldest friends and soon to be Richards Bay neighbor, Samantha Moodley. Yes, Maya is leaving the city of choice for all the Marisburg people here today. For the town we will now be visiting more often, some of us for the first time. Samantha has known Maya for many years beginning with their time studying at WITS. I am sure they have had many fun times together, including when she and her husband played matchmaker, introducing Maya and Kritish to each other. To tell us more, I now call Samantha to the stage. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and wow to the stunning couple. You guys look mesmerizing together, and you can just see the light shining through of the love that you guys both share. You are just radiating. I'm sure you all will agree. Sarusha, who I affectionately know as Maya from our university days, is one of the loveliest people I know, and I'm actually so proud and blessed to have her as a friend. Her name, Maya, is so appropriate. As just like Maya the bee, she's filled with the sweetness like the nectar of honey. I still remember her smiling face and infectious laughter across the corridors of Jubilee Hall residence where we first met and subsequently became good friends at WITS. In our latter years of studying, we were immediate neighbors 
in the South Catering residence, where we shared many tea breaks and laughter over episodes of Will and Grace in her room during our study breaks, which was more that than actually studying most of the time. Her loving and caring nature I knew then is still evident within her bubbly and positive personality she has today. Despite having a flourishing private practice as a dentist in Peter Maritzburg, she always remained humble, simple, and down to earth. She's definitely beautiful inside and out, and Kritesh, you are truly a lucky man to have crossed paths with Maya. Over the years, we always discussed who our Prince Charming would be, and Maya always said she hoped she would find someone with integrity, a good heart, and who she could have meaningful and intellectual conversations with. And when someone was not to her taste, her famous line was, Sam, he's just not my cup of tea. <laughs> well, Maya, I think today with Kritesh, you got the whole tea set. He's honest and true, and I don't think you can have a more intellectual conversation than with a neurosurgeon. <laughs> He portrays the qualities you have always dreamed of, and after getting to know him, you'll complement each other beautifully. The Timakia family is very blessed to get a daughter-in-law like Maya. She is a true gem. I know when Maya used to stay over at my house years ago, even my mom wished she had her as a daughter-in-law. <laughs> I would like to thank Maya's parents for raising her to be the selfless, kind, and strong, empowered woman you see before you today. The values you have inculcated in her are truly admirable, and y'all should be so proud on this auspicious day. She always has a listening ear, a willing to lend an ever-helping hand, and gives you very objective advice, and has been a very true friend to me over the years. Through Thick and Thin, I am so excited for you today, Maya, and so grateful to God that she has sent you the happiness that you have richly deserved. I would also like to thank God that Kritesh and Maya have finally found each other after the long wait, but it was definitely a wait that was worth it, as you can see how happy the both of them are together. Remember, guys, marriage is a workshop where the man works and the woman shops. But hopefully, with the togetherness and equality you both share, this should not happen all of the time, <laughs> just sometimes. I would like to end with a few tips um, from reading about happy marriages and my own personal experience of just five years of marriage. Um, one of uh, the spiritual leaders that I know Maya follows the teachings quite closely, Sri Satya Sai Baba, says, in a marriage, one should try to understand each other first and then adjust because when you do it the other way around, it can lead to unnecessary quarrels. Use the initial time period after marriage to create a strong, unified bond, so whatever challenges come your way, you'll deal with it as a unit and not as individuals. Always put God first and guide each other to the spiritual journey as a goal together. Just some of my thoughts. Choose your battles. You cannot find a fault condemn and fight about everything. Compromise and sacrifice with little things. So when it really matters, you can win the fight and have a valid say. No matter what always happens in life, always, always respect each other, each other's friends and families, because this is important to each individual and will cause harm if it is not done. Always take time to listen to each other's point of view and be kind to each other. You definitely find better solutions to problems this way. And when the kids come along, keep a united front, no matter how you differ behind closed doors, as they are very manipulative creatures. <laughs> Don't ever let a fight linger too long and start out things as soon as possible to avoid negative feelings festering between the two of you, disrupting the harmony that you have built. Lastly, try to do as much as possible together in every aspect of life, because from this day on, this is a journey of togetherness. To laugh together, cry together, have fun together, pray together, say sorry and forgive, and most of all, love each other unconditionally, because life is short, and God has blessed you guys to have each other to grow with, so please cherish and treasure every moment. 
Congratulations to my dear friends, and please take good care of each other. Just remember that James and I are down the road to check up on you guys if you need anything. Uh, may God bless you both and this marriage abundantly with love and happiness and bliss forever. Thank you. Thank you. Our last speaker is the man of the night himself. To give a vote of thanks, I call Kritish to the podium. Hi, good evening, everyone, and uh, just want to say how happy I am, and Sarusha as well, and my family for everyone being here today. Uh, it's been really special to us to see everyone, especially people that we know have traveled from very far to be here, and some people, well, actually, everyone here is family to us, and especially some people, particularly close to myself, uh, my teachers for what I've done, my colleague that I've worked with for many years, and, you know, just to follow up on LaSalle's comment, my colleague also, we were both equally hungry when we were doing our work, uh, for some strange reason. Uh, just to like clarify some things with my uncle, that comment about the truck, it was actually a bus and a bus driver, and I'm still reminded about that. <laughs> I was actually telling Sarusha, like, that actually is quite a true story. So uh, just to follow up, um, when Devaksha start, opened up by talking about how welcome and how easy it's been with the family to meet her family. It actually is strange how things sort of over time work, to work out, so to speak. Um, I've had the opportunity to meet some of her family over the years, and James uh, in particular that introduced us. So when I did eventually start to meet them, it already felt that a lot of ice was broken, and it was just easier to communicate uh, with them. Um, just but from the both of us, we're just so appreciative for lots of people to be here, but also that we just wanted everyone to remember the family members and friends of ours that couldn't be here, in particular our grandparents, my late Nana, um, and her late cousin Suvan, that I've been told lots of wonderful things about, and also how happy he'd be to see uh, Sarusha be married. Just in the time of this age we live in where communication happens in an instant, we can almost say that our relationship or connection started in an instant, and we got James and Sam to thank for that. <clears throat> Not so much for introducing us, but from my side at least, that I'd known James for several years, and late one night when I was on conference, he messaged and said, look, he, it was really just such a strange message in the sense that he said, look, he knows someone and he thinks that we'll actually do well together and we should speak. And it was an hour or two later that we were talking and we did have a connection from that instant. And mind you, this is, we had a connection before we'd actually met or actually spoken to, but we'd just been introduced by common friends and we had nothing really much to work on other than the feedback we'd actually seen from then. So that's something that we really both appreciative and just quite grateful for. In terms of going forward for the both of us, we just again got our family and friends to thank for our families, uh, my father, my mom, my nani, my auntie, uh, and also my late nana and Sarusha's family as well, because a lot of what we are, we have them to thank for. You know, our habits, our mannerisms, our dedication um, to life, to things, our respect for people, and that really is the foundation that we have. And also, I still hold in high regard my teachers growing up through karate school, and even when I was specializing, one of my teachers is here that I still hold in such high regard, and we just hope going forward in life, we really, you know, we honor them by doing the best we can with, with what we've been given and how we've been taught. So, again, I just want to thank everyone for being here, and also, and finally, just uh, to my wife, and people were asking, like, how do I how does it feel to get married? And it's only like, I just mentioned to her now that, you know, it just occurred to me we got married. And up to this, <laughs> so, uh, no, to, no, just from her, it's someone that I'm just so happy to be with, to interact with, uh, to have as a friend, as a wife, and one day as a mother. But also it's someone that I'm just attracted to, it was, not just her being beautiful, but the discipline, her outlook on life, her, her, the way she views family, her work, her dedication to her work. These were all small things that individually are quite powerful, but together is actually what just helped me be so certain and so happy going forward with her for the rest of our life. So 
just to her to let her know how happy I am, I am how happy I am that she said yes, um, and also how happy she is for helping with just about nearly everything in my life going forward. So just to say, Sarusha, I just love you lots and happy to call you Mrs. Tamakia. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Kritish. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there are a few more rituals, but for the most part, we've reached the, the time of the wedding celebrations. That is the most important reason we come to eat. With that, I conclude the formalities. It has been a pleasure being your MC. Please eat, drink, and be merry. Thank you.
Thank you.